ドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥ What's going on on my YouTube? It is, I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys. I'm continuing on in my series of Richard Donner reviews. In today's video, I'll be taking a look at the 1988 comedy, Scrooged. In this modern take on Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, Frank Cross is a wildly successful television executive whose cold ambition and curmudgeonly nature has driven away the love of his life, Claire Phillips. But after firing a staff member on Christmas Eve, Frank is visited by a series of ghosts who give him a chance to reevaluate his actions and right the wrongs of his past. So Scrooge was originally released in 1988. And this is a very unique adaptation of A Christmas Carol. It takes the classic story of A Christmas Carol, puts it in a modern setting, well, at the time of the movie's release in 1988, and does, like, more of a satire within this movie as we're dealing with, like, a TV company and it's kind of making fun of the commercialization of Christmas through mass marketing and television, which is what drives our main character, Frank Cross, here played by Bill Murray. This movie was very divisive when it came out in 1988. Like, the movie was a success, but critics and audiences were very mixed on this movie. Some people thought it was brilliantly funny. Others thought it was one of the most unpleasant Christmas films they had seen at the time. Like, Roger Ebert notoriously did not like this movie. He thought it was unpleasant, way too dark and mean-spirited, and he thought Bill Murray was miscast in the movie. However, this movie did gain a cult following over time to where now it's seen as a Christmas cult classic that's regularly played every holiday season. I have always been a fan of the movie Scrooge. Uh, the first time I ever saw it, I think I saw it, it aired on TV. On uh, It was ABC Family at the time, Freeform Now, when they do their 25 Days of Christmas block every December. And I've always been a fan of this movie, and I've always been a fan of the Christmas Carol story and all the many adaptations of the story adapted in the film. And some of my favorite adaptations of A Christmas Carol are the ones that stand out, that branch apart from the typical versions you see of the story, the more traditional versions. Which is why some of my favorite adaptations of A Christmas Carol, I'm also, I, I love the Mickey Mouse version of A Christmas Carol, and the Muppet Christmas Carol is so good as well. Scrooge is definitely another one of those cases where it modernizes the Christmas Carol story, but still retains the essence of what makes the story such a treasured classic, taking a very unlikable person and giving him the chance to redeem himself and live life to the fullest and be the person that he truly is supposed to be, what he's meant to do as a human being. And I love the essence of that story done in such a unique way in Scrooge. Uh, what's interesting is that apparently Richard Donner and Bill Murray apparently clashed a lot on set because Richard Donner wanted Bill Murray to follow the script and Bill Murray did a lot of improv and there was a lot of clashes. I think they did ultimately compromise and we got the movie we got. But apparently they didn't get along, which is quite a shame because you watch this movie and Bill Murray is on top of his game in this movie. Like, he is so unhinged in the role of Frank Cross. He's one of the more unlikable jerk faces I think you'll ever see in a movie because he'll fire his staff member for disagreeing with him. He doesn't pay his secretary well. He doesn't care what anybody else says. He'll release, like false advertising promos just to shock people that get them to watch whatever they're supposed to watch. He is one cold-hearted human being, and you see that throughout the course of this movie. And Bill Murray does that so well. Like Bill Murray can play the most unlikable person you can see. 
yet still retain that on-screen charisma that you love seeing in a lot of Bill Murray starring movies like Ghostbusters and I was just recently watched Meatballs for the first time and Groundhog Day, a lot of those movies where you, he has that style of comedy that you just love to see in these movies and he intensifies that especially when playing a character so cross as Frank Cross, pun intended. I enjoyed the romance element of this movie especially. This version has a deeper emphasis on the, the romance aspect of the story where, you know, uh, Frank Cross fell in love with Claire, played by Karen Allen, and he ended, they ended up separating because he got too greedy in his own job and she didn't really like that and that pushed her away. And so the events that Frank goes through, uh, revisiting his past, seeing what he's doing, and looking at a dark future with these ghosts, much like with Ebenezer Scrooge, calls him to rethink his life, and he turns around at the end. I really love the ending of this movie. In fact, I think my favorite ending out of any version of A Christmas Carol is the one in Scrooge where... Bill Murray does this excellent monologue at the end of the movie, and it's you can tell he ad-libbed the entire thing because you can tell he was making it all up on the spot, but that just shows how great of an actor Bill Murray is because he's able to make up whatever he says in whatever movie he's in, and yet it still turns out something excellent with how genuine he puts out these efforts. Like this monologue he gives about the Christmas miracle. It's so genuine because of the character's growth, because of the character's transformation in the end, and because all the things that he's witnessed, and you believe that he is a changed man by the end of the movie. And Bill Murray just delivered that earnestness so beautifully at the end of this movie. It combines, you know, the the lighthearted goofiness of Bill Murray with a sincere earnestness that you listen to this guy and you're like, okay. To quote Rocky IV, If he can change, I can change! <laughs> but yeah, I love the ending of Scrooge. I think this is a wildly funny movie. It definitely embraces the dark comedy aspect of the story by just how mean our main character is. It definitely embraces how bonkers its premise can be with this modern setting and some of the things you can do in a modern setting for a Christmas Carol story. Like when... Frank sees the ghost, everyone thinks he's going mad and having a mental breakdown, and they embrace that aspect within the story. I really like the ensemble cast in this movie, whether Bill Murray, Karen Allen, you even got random cameo appearances in this movie, like Robert Mitchum and John Glover, and you got like Buddy Hackett in this movie, and so many others I don't really want to give away if you haven't seen this movie, but... Yeah, the cameo appearances in this movie go cra are really crazy. This movie has some really good practical effects, especially in bringing some of the ghosts to life and some of the other supernatural elements of the movie. I really love the way the ghosts were handled in this movie. They're very unpredictable. Uh, yeah, you have a traditional version of the Ghost of Christmas Future, but I especially love Carol Kane as the Ghost of Christmas Present, who's dressed as like this ballerina fairy dancer or whatever who's really bad at it and she, she keeps kicking and punching Bill Murray every time they transport to various aspects of the present and I just thought she was hysterical in this movie one of my favorite sequences of the entire movie for sure all around Scrooge is a very unique version of a Christmas Carol story and it's one of my favorites while it maybe doesn't have uh, the same heart as maybe some of the classic versions with the classic actors, it's still one of my personal favorite versions of A Christmas Carol because I liked the unique spin that it does have. I love Bill Murray in this movie where he's pretty much an unhinged version of what he usually does. I love the dark comedy angle present in this movie where it literally does some dark stuff, like especially... Uh, the secretary who's like the Bob Cratchit in this movie who has a mute son who's like Tiny Tim in this and how that plays into the story can get pretty dark at times. But I love the hopefulness that it does have. Again, it 
embraces the message like in a Christmas Carol story that, you know, even the most unlikable person can change. And I love that we see that even in Scrooge. I think the ending in this is fantastic. It's got a great score from Danny Elfman. I love the soundtrack in the movie as well. Like Put a Little Love in Your Heart especially is fantastic, this version of the song. I do highly enjoy this movie. This is one of Richard Donner's standout movies as a director. Probably going to be in my top 10 at the end of my ranking at the end. I do highly, highly enjoy this movie. And it's definitely one of the more offbeat Christmas movies you can check out during the holiday season. It's definitely the most interesting version of A Christmas Carol, but I personally love it. And I'm going to be giving Scrooge the 4.5 out of 5 stars. And on the 100 point scale, it's getting an 85 out of 100. Going back to that social commentary and uh, how ahead of its time this movie was, there's a part of the movie where one character is like, uh, we should put subliminal messaging in our programs to entice cats. Congratulations, Scrooge, you just invented the kitten bowl. So that wraps up my review of Scrooge, just part of my Richard Donner director project, where I'm going through his complete filmography from his directing debut to his last film. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're a fan of Richard Donner as a director, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out my Richard Donner playlist, where you can check out all the other Richard Donner reviews I've covered on the channel so far. I got more Richard Donner reviews coming, so if you want to check out my past videos, which at the time of this video I've covered his two Superman movies, I've reviewed Lethal Weapon, The Omen, The Goonies, I've reviewed so many Richard Donner films. Be on the lookout for more Richard Donner reviews coming, and don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of future Richard Donner videos, and also don't forget to click the link in the description below to check out my past Richard Donner videos. Join me next time in my Richard Donner Director Project where I'll be taking a look at the sequel to Lethal Weapon, released in 1989, I'll be reviewing Lethal Weapon 2 next. I'm excited to revisit that one. So be on the lookout for my review of Lethal Weapon 2 coming to the channel real soon. But if you've seen Scrooge, then let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!